Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and in today's WordPress tutorial, you'll learn how to create download links in WordPress. Now, I'm going to be demonstrating three different methods, and all of them have their advantages and disadvantages. The first one is the zip folder method. Now, this can be used in the WordPress editor or in the Elementor page builder or pretty much any page builder. Very easy to do. The second method is the WordPress file block. Now, this is in the WordPress standard editor. Now, this is useful if you don't want to use a zip folder. You can just use an image or a document, for example. Now, the third method is by adding a download attribute to a link. Now, this is a little bit more tricky, but it's definitely worth learning. And you can use this in Elementor quite easily. And there's a way of doing it in Gutenberg as well. So if this sounds interesting, keep watching. Okay, first up, how to create a download link in WordPress using the zip folder method. So I've just thrown together this quick website using the uh, standard WordPress editor. And we are going to make a little download button to download an ebook PDF. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the tutorial, I've just made a little ebook PDF. I'll just open it. Just a one page PDF, um, Ideaspot WordPress tutorial PDF. And we can make a zip folder. Just I'll just right click and send it to a zip folder. But you can use whichever method you prefer to make zip folders. Totally up to you. Then we are going to go ahead and upload this zip folder into our WordPress media library. Okay, so in our WordPress dashboard under media library, we're going to add new and let's go ahead and grab our zip folder, drop that in and upload it. There we go. Our zip folder is right there. Let's go ahead and click that and we want to copy that link. So let's go ahead and copy the link and then head back to that page we're working on and we can go ahead and edit the page. I've already opened the page editor here and I'll show you how to make this button. So we are just going to add a new block. Let's put one here and that's going to be a button. And I'm going to call that uh, download ebook. And then we're going to add a link there. And we're just going to paste that link from our media library there. Click enter there. And we should be pretty much good to go. I don't like it over on the left here, obviously. So let's go ahead and let's center this, align it to the center. There we go. So let's click update. And we can view that page. So viewing the page, we can see we've got our button that says download the ebook. And when we click it, there we go, it downloaded the ebook. Now you don't need to use a button. You can add a link to anything, pretty much text or a heading, even an image. You can make a cool looking download button graphic and, and link your download using that as well. So totally up to you. Next up, I'll show you how to create a download link for WordPress using the Elementor page builder. So this is a page that we've created in Elementor and I'll show you how to link the button to your download. So let's head into Elementor here. And I've got a button here. That's just using the normal button widget. So you can just drag in a button widget, go ahead and set that up. I'm just gonna use this one I've already made. So let's click on the pencil there. And again, we just want to link that to the zip folder. That's all there is to it, click update. And now after reloading the main page here, I can just click download ebook. And again, it'll download just fine. Now for our second method of creating a download link in WordPress, let's say we didn't want to use a zip folder. We wanted to link directly to the PDF. So I've uploaded the PDF into the media library. Let's click on that and let's copy that link again, shall we? And let's go back to our editor. So here we are, let's edit that link. So it links to the PDF file rather than the zip file. And let's see what happens here. Let's click update. So now when we click the link, Let's see, it actually opens the file rather than downloading it. So is there a way we can get around that behavior and get it to download the PDF directly? I'll show you how to do that. The first method is that WordPress actually gives us a block called file. So we can actually choose a file from the media library. Let's choose our ebook PDF and select that one. And I want that to be in the center, of course. There we go. And we can write a description in here, download ebook. And that's all there is to it. We can update that. And now back on our page, we can click this download button and it will download the PDF directly rather than opening it in the browser. The only thing I don't really like about this is the default button is just this gray rounded button and there's no real formatting options or styling options in the WordPress editor. So I will show you in Elementor how to do this and you can use a proper theme button. So stay tuned for that. So back in Elementor, let's look at our button and let's go to our link and let's delete out the old link to the zip folder and paste in the PDF. Go ahead and click update. Now again, we're gonna have that same problem where it opens the file rather than downloading. So click the little gear icon there 
and we've got custom attributes. All we have to do is put the download attribute into the custom attributes and that will actually allow us to download the file rather than open the file. So let's click update and let's test this. Now back on our page, we can click download ebook and it'll download the PDF just fine. Now adding a download attribute to a button in the standard WordPress editor is a little bit tricky. There's no actual way of doing it through the options here, but you can do it in HTML. It's not too hard. I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. So we just go to more options here and we want to edit as HTML. So let's go ahead and copy out this HTML and let's go to notepad or whatever favorite text editor you've got is and let's actually edit this bit of HTML. All you wanna do here is just find the end of the link where the quotes are and the triangle bracket ends and just type download in there and that adds the download attribute. So let's go ahead and copy that again and let's go ahead and let's remove this block altogether and from here we want to add a new block. We want to add an HTML block. There we are. Let's paste that HTML from our notepad in there and let's click update. And we can actually preview that. It won't render the button, but it will work properly when we actually load it in the page. So back on our page, we've got our button there. It does work. It's stuck on the left of the screen. I'm gonna show you how to center that. It's a little bit tricky, but let's get onto it. Probably the quickest way to do it in the HTML. Let's just click HTML and let's add a division alignment to the center there. So I will share this little bit of HTML in the description. It's a very, very useful one to know. And then let's just end the division at the end of the button there as well. So that should be all good. Let's click preview. There we go, we're in the center again. So that is a lot better. Click update. So there we go, after reloading the page, we have our button in the center, it works just fine. So these are our three methods of how to create download links in WordPress. Hit like if it's been useful. Now, besides offering free download links, you can also use WooCommerce to sell downloads. And I've created a video guide on how to sell eBooks. Definitely check out this video. It will be very useful to add another revenue stream to your website. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.